While most 15-year-olds are getting their ears pierced, Gracie Casper was punching a hole in the handmade jewelry market. I've shipped to 34 wow. states and two Canadian provinces so far. Her business, Made by Gracie, made over $11,000 in sales last year. People visit her online store for hoops, studs, dangles, and even bracelets. So these are some of my newest designs. Handmade earrings are Gracie's specialty. First, she sold them at local craft fairs. Now, boutiques in Minnesota, Texas, and her home state of Wisconsin ask her for custom orders. She's even accessorizing some local celebrities. My local news anchor found me on Instagram and has ordered earrings, so it's very fun to watch the news and see her, <laughs> which um, earrings she's wearing. In this episode of The Hustle, we'll look at how Gracie followed the four P's of business marketing, product, place, price, and promotion. We'll also see how she grew her business by tailoring her products for two avenues, retail and wholesale. Made by Gracie started when Gracie's family switched to homeschooling in 2020. My mom came into my room and she said, Gracie, you need to find a hobby to do in the afternoons after you're done with your schoolwork. So I said, okay, I want to make jewelry, I want to make earrings. Not long after, Gracie's hobby turned into something many entrepreneurs aim for, a product. You probably already know what a product is, a good or service that a business sells. Defining a new product means understanding its features, who it's for, and why it stands out from existing products. Of course, Gracie didn't invent earrings, so her designs had to be original, high quality, and eye-catching. Her first product was a pair of tassel earrings. Crafting a whole product line took trial and error. Started making leather earrings and tassel earrings, and then started making clay earrings, and I found a real passion for the clay earrings and all the little details that go into them. After hundreds of hours and plenty of broken earrings, Gracie polished her skills. With elegant products, her craftsmanship speaks for itself. Customers loved her clay earrings, so Gracie made more. Selling to strangers across the country opened the door for more customers and more crafty designs. And the first time I sold to a stranger was to someone in Connecticut, and I was like, Oh my gosh, Mom, I just got an order, and it's someone I don't know. This is so exciting. Gracie then turned to place, the next of the four Ps. Her home state offered plenty of inspiration. So these cow studs are very popular because I live in Wisconsin, the cheese state. I have the cow earrings in many different boutiques. But place is much more than taking on local flavor. In business, it's availability. The whole spectrum of how and where customers can find your products. Determining place is vital to your product's life cycle and to the health of your business. Like many entrepreneurs, Gracie started online, selling her earrings over social media. At first, I was really hustling and promoting my earrings and myself on socials and just spending all hours of the day and night making earrings to post for sale. Stores and boutiques came later, and the third P, promotion, played a huge role. Whether you're telling your customers or showing them, promotion means putting your product in the spotlight. It's any activity you use to sell or advertise. Like most newcomers, Gracie had limitations to consider. She wasn't able to buy up airtime for flashy commercials. I got a few influencers on Instagram to share me and started selling to more states and countries, actually. Talk about a golden strategy. With influencers sporting Gracie's accessories, people took notice. Store owners saw her products, liked them, and eventually reached out. This opened up a new avenue for Gracie's business. She went from selling her products retail to wholesale. Retail means selling products directly to customers in small quantities, usually at a higher price. Selling wholesale means making a lot of your products and selling it in bulk to other businesses at a lower price per unit. Retail is, you know, if people just buy one or two pairs at a time. Wholesale is if they buy like 20 or 50 pairs at a time. I offer them a 20 to 40% discounted price depending on how many pairs they get, how much the total is. People on Instagram found me, their boutiques, and they reached out to me and asked if I did wholesale orders and I said yes. And it's really cool that people are now reaching out to me um, that own boutiques and wanting my earrings in their boutiques and it's not me reaching out to them asking if they'd want to carry my earrings. Gracie was filling orders up to 70 pairs of earrings and shipping them to other businesses. Those businesses then sell her earrings in their stores at retail prices, and that's even more promotion. Okay, these are gorgeous. I really want to learn how to make some of these myself. Yes. Do you think you can show me? Yes, I'm so excited to show you. All right, let's do it. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start by rolling this out, mm -hmm. correct? Yep. So we have these textured, what do you call them? They're silicone textured. Yep, texture mats. Roll the texture onto the clay. Hey, pretty good. Let's that's go. that's good. 
Okay, then we're gonna use this cutter to cut them out. Oh wow, it stays right there like that. This is very satisfying. So we got them back from the oven, peeled them off the tile, let them cool, and now it is time to drill and sand them. All right, I think we have a finished product. Very good, I'm impressed. Gracie's earrings are picture perfect, and mine weren't bad either. Seeing the whole process, the time, effort, and supplies Gracie uses to make her products made me curious about the last of the four Ps, pricing, how much customers will pay for your product. Gracie's products take a lot of work, so she needs her prices to cover the cost of time and materials. If she prices her products too high, they might not sell. And if she prices them too low, then she's not covering her expenses and making a profit. Pricing correctly maximizes your returns and makes your work worth the effort. I have another big wholesale order to work on. 72 pairs of earrings, so I'm gonna start that when we get home. With earrings, studs, and bracelets that dazzle customers, she found her niche. Her advice to anyone looking for their entrepreneurial niche? Definitely go for it. You cannot be scared of failing or not succeeding. You really just have to jump into it. And I mean, chances are if you put in a bunch of work and hard effort into building your business, building your customer base, gaining a follow, and you're going to succeed and you're going to, you know, do it. What did we learn from Gracie today? The four P's of marketing are a handy accessory for anyone starting a business. Start with a product people will want to buy. Think of where they'll buy it. What places can make your product available? Getting stores to carry your products isn't easy, but if you want to go that route, you should look at selling wholesale. Get that product in front of customers with a promotion strategy that works and with pricing that covers your time, supplies, and expenses. Even if you're a diamond in the rough like Gracie, turning your product line into a thriving business takes a time-tested strategy. Thank you so much to Gracie for being here, showing me how to make a pair of earrings. Make sure to check her out, get a pair of her earrings. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks so much for watching The Hustle. To make sure you don't miss out on any more videos like this, please subscribe at PragerU.com today.